We are following this developing story tonight, a rape investigation that has now turned into a police impersonator accusation. Investigators say a man who sexually assaulted his girlfriend later enlisted two other men to pose as officers to persuade the woman to drop the charges. Channel 2's Bill Spencer is live in the Fifth Ward tonight with more details about this troubling case. Bill? Christine, prosecutors with the Harris County DA's office say that 40-year-old Wynn Rock Hill not only tied up and raped a woman and held her hostage, but later then convinced two of his buddies, one of them a direct relative, to go to that victim's house and try to get her to drop all charges against him. It's a scheme that's being revealed tonight. He was going after victims and witnesses of crimes and trying to intimidate them and trick them into dropping charges. Prosecutors say this man, Winrock Hill, tied up and brutally raped his girlfriend over and over again over several days last April. Now, months later, investigators allege that Hill convinced two other men to pose as police officers, go to his victim's house, and try to frighten her into dropping all charges against him. Two individuals approached a victim and her family at their home. One of them, the individual that we have charged right now, was dressed in a jacket that resembled the Houston Police Department jacket. He had a clipboard with him, and he demanded that she sign paperwork. He basically said that he works with the police department and she has to sign this. And it was an affidavit of non-prosecution. It was a, a sworn document saying that, that this victim didn't want to go forward with the charges. Tonight at this hour, this man, a friend of Hill's, Marcus Wayne Willis, is being held on $25,000 bond, charged with impersonating a police officer. His accomplice, who is directly related to Hill, has not yet been charged or arrested. As for Hill, tonight he remains behind bars, charged with three counts of sexual assault and one count of continuous violence. Now, of course, you recall we said there were two guys posing as police officers. One of those men, as I, as I said in the story, was not charged. He is still out on the street, but prosecutors are building evidence against him right now, and they expect to pick him up in the coming days. Reporting live in the Fifth Ward, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Bill, thank you.